well 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 good uh, students welcome again in this episode we'll be looking at memories we lost so this is uh, story number three short story number three that is in according in accordance to, to to our order of procession from where we started and that now where we are um, and it still is KCSE English literature of course paper 101 stock 03 the year is 2022 now this time round we're looking at story number three that is light by who by leslie neka arima so uh leslie the background quickly leslie neka arima was born in the united kingdom and grew up uh wherever her father was stationed to work this was sometimes in Nigeria or even out of Nigeria. She has been published or she has published, she has been published in the New Yorker and Granter. Her story, The Light, was winner of the 2015 Commonwealth Short Story Prize for Africa. Her work has received grants and awards from Commonwealth writers, AWP, the Elizabeth George Foundation, the Jerome Foundation and others. She's currently living in Minneapolis. The Light touches on key issues which revolve around education and parenting. Having grown up separately from her mother, Nick understands what, what this kind of uh, schism can do to the relationships. Mother to child and wife to husband. The story handles effectively the themes of separation, parenting, technology, and emancipation. It is an exciting story about expectations for both teenagers and young couples. The author ridicules parents who abandon their parenting responsibilities and expect their children to be straight. Therefore, the story is about how good relationship, relations and understanding can be maintained between parents and the teenagers in our modern society so uh, quickly let's go through the synopsis Leslie Neka Arima revolves around Annabelle's family Annabel has sent his daughter to the world expecting her to maintain her innocence quote-unquote due he lives with his daughter in Nigeria while his wife studies masters in business administration in America Annabelle and her daughter go through a lot when his wife is out, including blooming of their daughter who apparently gets shocked by her first menstrual cycle and being summoned in school for a case involving his daughter who is accused of writing a love letter to a boy. Annabel promises to justice his daughter and assures the head teacher that the same will not happen again. The wife and the husband keep communicating through Skype and the mother plays a role of nurturing her daughter. The relationship between the mother and the daughter is smooth at first but soon changes and none is excited as before. This comes when the mother reprimands the daughter in attempt to make a better woman from her. During the first holiday, Annabelle's wife comes home but has with her visa during the return journey. This leads to a decision to study and she would never come home again until she finishes her studies. However, Annabelle's wife decides to live there. She goes with her daughter. The setting. The story is set in southern Nigeria. It is set in modern times as seen by use of advanced technology in communication. The Skype. It is set in contemporary Africa as it addresses contemporary themes like the theme of education, emancipation, parenting and technology and technology. Education is the hope or an, is in the hope to emancipate and liberate Africa. Education is critical. Annabelle's wife goes to study her master's degree in America. Annabelle takes his daughter to school to learn and grow. This has effects, however, as she comes back changed the theme of parenting 
The author addresses the theme of parenting as a role of every parent. It should not be left to either the male or female parent. Light is a warm story, beautiful and deeply, deeply felt. Fluid and delightful, it is a theme of parenting across continents, which will strike a chord with readers throughout the world. Annabel demonstrates poor parenting, but he still washes dishes and cooks for her daughter, who is now 14. He does not teach her responsibility as they still share house duties or house chores. On the other hand, Annabelle's wife does not spend quality time with her daughter and yet expects her, to, her daughter to be morally upright. Theme of change. It is said that change is inevitable and is as good as rest. Change is the act of or instance of making or becoming different. When Annabelle sends his daughter to school, he did not expect her to change. According to him, she is well brought up and appropriately cultured. However, she soon changes and learns how to write love letters. As a result, he is summoned by the head teacher to discuss the changes in her daughter. Similarly, Annabelle's wife goes to the USA to study so she can get a good job back in Nigeria. Her test changes and she looks for a job in the US and comes for her daughter. So what are the techniques and language used in this um, short story? Number one, narrative voice and point of view. The author has used third person narrative voice to narrate the story. This is the omniscient narrator. Annabelle's parenting ways are smartly highlighted through this narrative voice. He loves his daughter to an extent that he still cook, cooks sorry, for her even when she is 14. He takes her to the salon for her to be relaxed. This use of he pronoun makes the narrator small president who is ruling the world of the story, making it vividly described one. This is the kind of narrator who can get in the character's thoughts and feelings beside narrating on events that happen on places where ordinary people would not venture. He is all-knowing and reveals to the readers the thoughts, motives and intentions of different characters. He gets into the mind of characters and reveals to us their intentions. Number two is imagery. The author has used several metaphors and symbols to develop aesthetic and fantastical descriptions that can be quite memorable. Among them include, would shrivel like a parched plant, that is a simile, which enhances the picture in the reader's mind. He massages, he massages the cream into her scalp like lotion. A feathery clumps that swirl into the drain like fussy fish. An elephant of mistress and awkwardness that is metaphorical or that is a metaphor right there. It's an imagery language. She strings his vages out like Christmas lights. Humor. The quality of being amusing or comic, especially as expressed in literature or speech. The author uses humor to ease the rather sad mood prevailing in the story. She uses humorous expressions as those saying, this is so funny, but take it with a lot of seriousness for it. Characterization. Annabelle. Annabelle appears to be comical. However, he is concerned, remorseful, and loving. He loves his daughter to an extent that he still cooks for her, even when she is 14. He takes her to the saloon for her hair to be relaxed. He is also depicted as being a true domineering man. When his wife wants to go with the daughter, he refuses the idea and stands firm on the decision. Annabelle's wife, she is depicted as being a caring and a loving mother. She is indeed helpful, supportive, and a concerned lady who cares for her daughter and although she is away, tries to bring her up in the right way. Good students, this uh, probably or promptly or maybe should I say uh, briefly sums up our 
uh, short story number three, The Light. And of course, stay or hold it up right there for the, maybe the fourth up to the tenth one. And um, that is in accordance to our coursework that is you're expected maybe to respond to one of the short stories. So it's good to literally prepare yourself in a preamble time. And uh, of course, based on the past experiences, I can tell that there is a likelihood of this, especially this text, to be uh, uh, examined this year. Uh, the reason is why I believe that it's likely is because of the rampage that has recently been experienced in schools, uh, parenthood and parenting. And this particular text that we just finished reading is related to their elements that are borrowed, that are maybe... Um, likely to be borrowed and they are identical in a way so hold on right there and uh, use your wit have a good day